Hi right, guys, today is a big day in the FP world. Um, we've got a lot going on. Um, so I've been hiding a truck from y'all for a couple months now. Um, and we're going to be getting ready for iDrive Throwdown also. I've got to try and get hooked up to this gooseneck. Um, just in case you were wondering, the 24 Super Duty backup cameras, garbage. Dodge has way better cameras. But anyways, um, also, <laughs> I bought a smart car. We're, we're going to talk about that on, a, on another video. But uh, we're going to have a new pit car coming. This one's a little bit rough, but I got a deal on it. So uh, we're going to perform a restoration on a smart car in a video here soon. Bubba does not know that I bought another smart car. So don't tell him. But we are going to be getting ready for iDrive Throwdown. And also today is the day I finally uh, show you all the new build that we've been hiding. I've been wanting one of these for forever. I've got a filmer coming. I mean, y'all are going to get some good content of this truck. And I hope y'all like it. Um, it's a little bit out of my realm, but we've been working on a lot of them here lately. And I've always kind of wanted one, but not really ever been sold on it. Um, it is going to be kind of a show truck, but it's also kind of going to be a truck that I'm going to use to pull trailers. So that's... I guess kind of why I justified owning one. Um, but yeah, let's see if we can get hooked up to this gooseneck. I keep missing the ball because this camera sucks. I think we finally got it. Just in case you're wondering, I'm gonna give kind of a rating on the Diamond C um, for a smaller trailer. Uh, obviously, I still have my 44 foot Doolittle. Diamond C is a great trailer so far. I definitely recommend having, you know, obviously airbags on your truck and the air shocker hitch. Um, that makes a huge difference, but this trailer pulls amazing. And let's see, let's go down. Oh yeah, baby, we got it. We have my 24 Platinum Mini Level, guys. Uh, we've had this truck for what, a month, Bubba? Probably, yeah. It's four weeks. Did you call it a 24 Platinum? Oh, it, it's not a 24, it's a 22, <laughs> my bad. I say, I this did. thing just got right. newer. <laughs> we've been saying 24 like so much with the, the Dooley. Um, and honestly, like I did not know when we were ever gonna get to video this thing. We've been waiting to reveal this thing for forever. Um, we were having some paint work done. Uh, we needed new floaters. The other owner of the truck um, actually kept the floaters, but we've got some 30 inch JTXs on it already. This truck is pretty much already to our liking. Um, that's why we just went ahead and waited. Uh, we had to get the 30s on, we had to get new centers for them, new spikes. Um, and then we also did a bunch of color matching to make this kind of match like more of, of what our builds are, which is just basically white and chrome or white and brushed. Uh, but luckily this truck has like a bluish purple lift on it, which is kind of my favorite color. So um, that really actually went with our color scheme. But let's go over the whole truck and then we're gonna get some rollers and stuff of it. But we've got some 30 inch JTX. I think they're Phoenixes. Um, they're a little dirty. Uh, when we bought the truck, it didn't have these wheels on it. Um, but these wheels did come with the truck. 
because um, they were already powdered to match. You can see they got like the bluish purple on the back, uh, but we had to get some new floaters for them. Um, you've actually probably never seen this truck because it did used to be wrapped. Um, so this will kind of be the first time everyone's seen this truck all white. It's had a wrap on it since I could remember probably what, two years ago, Bubba? Yeah, it's, it's been wrapped. It's, it's, it's a 22 that got built when it was brand new and it's got like 20,000 miles on it. Um, the old owner kind of daily drove this truck. So uh, it does have the upgraded any level kit with the rear bags for a 450 and it does have the billet bars. So this is like the premium kit. Um, the only thing I would say that I don't like is that the axles are not powdered, but we are also going to use this truck to pull some trailers. And yeah, if you daily it, I wouldn't. I'm going to play with it, guys. I'm honestly really excited to have a bigger truck that I can drive. That's the only reason I've ever wanted an any level is because I've watched like all my friends that had them, like they drive them every day or drive them everywhere. And yeah, shine money. <laughs> shine money. Yeah, Tobin's put like, I think he's got like 90,000 miles on that truck he now. He has to have close to 100 yeah. by now. And he put compounds on it too. Did I tell you that? I like. <laughs> I like, yeah. Yeah, we need, we need more turbos on this thing. It's, so it's, it's a stock truck, uh, just color matched, any level. Um, the engine's completely stock. Uh, we may do a DCR pump on it to get rid of that failure prone CP4 that's just garbage and junk and shouldn't have ever been made. That's okay, we fix it. It's, it's okay, we fix it, we make it better. Uh, but yeah, so 22, any level, F450. Show them the interior. No one believes me. You can't, you can see it in person. And if we back it outside, you might be able to see it. But this interior is blue. It is, it is a dark navy. I don't know, we, we've been having, I have, I have a buddy of mine that's a big Ford guru that says they never did this in blue, but this is freaking blue. I don't care what anybody says. I swear if you open that passenger door and the sun shines on it, it's definitely blue. I mean, like you can see the carpet's black and this is like a lighter shade. It definitely looks blue to me. Like, look right there, that is blue as crap. But apparently they're, they're saying that, you know, they don't, you know, make blue in these, but whatever. Um, and then this truck actually already had a sub in it. It's got a pretty <laughs> duct tape. Eh? What was that? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> um, but yeah, it had one sub under the back seat already. It has a nice little JL subwoofer. These trucks are really nice, honestly. Like, I thought that, uh, I mean, the 24 is definitely outplayed them, you know what I mean? I don't know, man. 22 is my favorite body style because you get the nice radio and stuff, and that's that's my yeah, favorite. The, so, end, but. 20 and 21, they've got like a, what is it, like probably an 8-inch screen? It's, it's tiny. Yeah, yeah. It's, got, it's got a much smaller screen in it, um, but 22 was the last year with this body style and the big screen that comes in those trucks. Yeah. So, like, this is, if you're going to buy one of these Super Duties, um, a newer one, and you want this body style, 22 is definitely the year to get. Yeah, to get it's got the 10 radio. speed, got the bigger radio. Um, I think you already showed it in the radio, didn't you? Yeah. So like it has the wireless car play and stuff like that. So 22 is definitely the year you want to get. Um, I'm just not a huge fan of the um, interior from before, like the dash bezel and stuff yeah, yeah. with the little screen. It's just, it's not that great. And this has switches. Not to toot my own horn or anything, but that was cheesy. I'm sorry. That sounds kind of kind of poor. It did you, sound pretty weak. To but the big girl out there. A big girl's horns will put this thing to shame. It'll put anything to shame. But um, so yeah, like I was saying, it does have the bag kit. Let's show. Them. It's got the rear bags. Actually, lift it back up, Bubba. Lift it back up. I, I literally lowered it just to talk about the suspension. I'm, I'm not very smart sometimes, guys. Oh, also. <laughs> Yeah, very nice. That's very loud. Um, yeah, so it has a rear cross member with bags under it, like like the other 450 um, Coltons. Don't show that yet, though. They don't know about that, but that thing's going to be pretty nasty. I'm, yeah, it's not here. We'll it's, not like here. it's not here. It's not almost done. It's The wheels aren't sitting over there. Um, next video. But, yeah, we're going to be using this thing to pull some. I'm kind of curious. See, you can see it's got no air in the bags right now. Um, as soon as you put just a little bit of load on it, it's got some level sensors and it will add air off of the air compressors for the horns. So multi-purpose. But uh, yeah, so it's got paint match tails. We left the placard, the brushed. Wanted to see how I liked it. And this year, I feel like you kind of got to leave that. We ended up painting the handle. Uh, we left the chrome trim on it. We painted the entire bumper. Uh, we lost that. Don't know where that's at. Forgot about that. Yeah, yeah lost that. Don't pay attention to that if you see that this weekend. It's about to storm. 
and uh, this badge was actually already painted. Um, there was a lot of like paint work already done on this truck, but there was a lot of plastics missed. We still took a, like probably 40 pieces to the painter. Are we gonna leave it? I don't know yet. I don't. I don't really love it to be honest. I think if we're gonna do this whole Ford thing, we gotta we gotta match booties. That's just. I think if we're gonna make them all match, this truck needs brushed wheels. I'm not against that. Brushed wheels on this thing. I, lo I Nasty. love brushed wheels. I think we would just take these wheels, have them brushed and stripped. What if we done brushed and left the, Blue? the powder? Yeah. They'd have to redo it. I know, but still, that'd be yeah. sick. It could be done. It could be done. So we finished paint matching the bumper, the back of the truck. Um, <laughs> I forgot. You just picked up the I back. Just, yeah, I didn't want to yeah. do both. I, it's so noisy. Yeah, uh, okay. Um, race truck. <laughs> race truck. Uh, we got some new mirror lenses coming. So it had smoked mirror lenses on it. I'm not a fan of amber lights, and I'm definitely not a fan of smoke stuff. Um, so we got some white paint matched ones with some clear strips and white running lights. Um, new platinum badges. Just kidding, guys. It's a base model. We put the platinum badges on it to fool you. Um, Straight from but eBay. But yeah, got some new floaters from JTX. Just ended up going with their logo instead of ours. Got to support our boys over at JTX, man. Best wheels in the market. You know why we run them. And we also did, let me see, I think I'm gonna open the door and they'll come on. Yep. White cab lights. Wow, it's really about to storm. All right, guys, we're gonna get to do some rollers. We're gonna come back, we're gonna talk about the truck a little more. Uh, we're gonna let you know what we're gonna do with the truck. And I think we need to find something dumb to do with it today. Like, uh, I think we should let the hitch down on like Abby's car or something. I've been dying to ruin that I, car. I think I should back the hitch through her window or something, I don't know. To be continued, we're gonna yeah, figure out we'll, something we'll, stupid. We'll, we'll be back, we gotta get rollers done before it rains. We did not avoid the rain by any means. Um, we got most of our rollers done. It did start raining a little bit on RJ, RJX, but he was a trooper in the rain. Um, but we're back in the shop. Bubba's working on some trucks. Uh, let's go over the any level just one last time. I want to show y'all it. I'm super excited to have it. Uh, I don't know how much enthusiasm I showed in the starting of the video, but I have always wanted one of these trucks. Um, because at first I was not sold on the any level. And then like you actually we started working on a bunch for customers and like the geometry of the suspension. So it's just crazy. You know, it's very over-engineered, you know, shout out to any level on that. Um, hopefully, uh, hopefully I like this one. I will give an honest review. That way y'all know whether you need to buy one or buy a kit and have us install it. We are, uh, going to be certified any level installers, but, uh, yeah, let's take a look at the truck. So don't know what we're going to do about wheels. I do really like these wheels. I I've not had that cut yet. I've not had a set of, well, I've had a bunch of polished with powdered. I've just never had any with like blue or anything on it. But I think we're going to keep the wheels for a little while. They, they really do match the truck well, and they're already on there. So there's not really a point of changing it. Um, plus, like I said, the truck has never been seen uh, without the wrap. So this is kind of like a new truck to the truck world. Um, but the billet bars are sick. I'm glad it had that option. If it didn't, I probably would have added those. We have Mid-South building us some paint matched uh, bed lights. So the front one will be white now and the rear one will still be red. That way we maintain it being legal because I am going to pull some trailers with this thing. Um, and I, I don't really know what I'm going to do with it, guys. We still have a lot we want to do. I got to do uh, rock lights on it. Got to change the mirror line, like I said. Um, there, there's a lot to do. Um, we just took some rollers. They turned out great, but um, had to come back and charge this thing. She was starting to starting to sound a little weak. You gotta you gotta plug your truck in every once in a while like a Prius when you got an any level. 
um, but it's very rare that you do actually have to plug it in. But the truck also came with this really badass hitch stabilizer set up from Bulletproof. Um, so excited to pull with it and see how it does. Um, it drives relatively normal. Um, anyone that I've talked to has said that the 450s drive better than the 250s um, because the rear stabilization from the bags and the wider rear stance. Um, we'll see, we'll put that to the test. I'm really curious to like maybe hook this to the 32 foot uh, Diamond C and see how she does. Maybe going on a recovery with a truck. Uh, we, we were gonna play with Abby's Camaro and hit it or something. We still may if it stops raining, but it's currently pouring the rain. Um, but we have gotta get loaded for iDrive. Um, I'm gonna be bringing this truck, so uh, this video will load actually when we're driving down. Um, also, subscribe, like, and comment on the video, guys. Uh, try and bring that up in the middle of the video because some of you don't watch all the way to the end. And watch all the way to the end, guys. It really helps us. Um, don't click off. There's plenty There's plenty to learn. But, yeah, we're going to be at iDrive with the 450, the big truck, and the new 450. So this will be the first time that the new 450 will be pulling the big trailer. So I'm kind of curious to see how it does with that. A lot of people were asking how it's going to tow with those wheels and tires. Guys, this is not the first time I've towed heavy with 28s, and it's done great every time. So I have no worries. The Furies are 12 ply. I think they're 12, and they're not 14s but they're 12 ply and we also put bags on it. Just look at her, sitting there in her glory. That's uh, That's gotta be one of my favorite trucks, guys. Um, but we're starting to get a heck of a collection and a lot of that is thanks to y'all. Um, Bubba, me, my mom, everyone that puts work in on this. So appreciate y'all on that one. But we are gonna, we are gonna hope that it quits raining here in a second so me and Bubba can go adjust the gooseneck because we have not hooked a 44 foot Doolittle uh, to anything since we loaded or lifted the new truck so the gooseneck is probably going to be sitting at like an angle and we really need to adjust it down anyways because like with how tall the neck was the trailer liked to lean to one side in the front which was very unsafe when you have the big truck on the front um but i believe we're going to put the any level on the front because we can lower the body and put the center of gravity a little lower and then we're going to put the big truck on the back but um hopefully it'll quit raining here in a second we'll get hooked up to that trailer all right so i adjusted the gooseneck up at least, uh, I think I did two notches. I believe I did two. I think a lot more of that was shown. This thing is way taller. I'm gonna back up. We're gonna see if she sits level. Probably load the bags a little bit. Yeah, maybe. You gonna operate the button? Yeah, I'll do the button. Just a hair. Any trailers with ramps? Awful idea. Hydraulic everything. All right. Oh, things they need to know. I drive to throw down this weekend in Orlando. What, what is today? I think it's uh, uh, a. I don't know what day it is, but I think the show is the 19th to 21st. Um, it's in Orlando. It's right beside Universal, I believe. It's at this like big mall that has like, I think bowling alleys, go karts, uh, like a bunch of stores and stuff. It's like 400,000 square foot of mall, I believe. And it's all air conditioned. So uh, that is definitely where you're gonna see me this weekend. Actually, I don't have mom this weekend. If you buy a shirt this weekend, you're buying it for me. I'm, I'm, I'm actually the shirt salesman this weekend, bub. <laughs> he said, get fucked. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna be having so much fun. Uh, yeah, yeah, come see me. You'll be loving life. Now, I, I like selling shirts. 
What I don't like is Florida at 110 degree weather, but we're gonna deal with it. We'll bring some fans and stuff, make the best of it. Um, hope to see a bunch of y'all there. That is uh, kind of our last show for a little while. I think after that, what's uh, what's next, Bubba? Michiana? Yeah, Michiana's next. Michiana's like August, like I believe it's the 7th and 9th. And uh, that's always a pretty good show. I went last year. I really enjoyed Michiana. We gotta decide though, all right, I think we take the burnout truck to Michiana and I think we pull it all with the any level. They got a big pad? It's a decent sized pad, but I know there's we, enough people to entertain up there. I think we should throw nitrous on first. We do need some nitrous because the minute Sally gets hot, like she, she needs a little spray to come along. We need something to power through all the bull crap. <laughs> yeah, that way when the sensors go wonky, we can just nitrous so it doesn't have a choice. I agree. But uh, all right, appreciate y'all for watching. Um, hope y'all enjoying the rollers and all the nice quality content we're having here lately. We have not had that in a long time. Um, yeah, thank y'all for watching. Subscribe, like, comment. I'll see y'all in the next one. Grab some merch.